Let's say that I wanted to define a new programming language. So before we had the and or not programming language, so the operations we were allowed to use were and or 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 not. Let's say that I restricted this to being only NAND. We're no longer allowed to use and or 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 not. We're only ever allowed to use NAND. So this could be still a totally legitimate programming language. It would be the, exactly the same thing, but with only NANDs. Is it any better? Is it any worse? Yes? OK, so maybe it's equivalent. In what way would it be equivalent? If you can express all the first operations using only NAND. Exactly. We can actually say that NAND straight line programs are equal in some way. They're in some way equivalent to straight line programs. And the way that they are equivalent is we can show that any function that I can kind of describe, let's say, any function I can write an algorithm for, or a process for, or describe, so we'll say any function that I can describe with one, I could also do with the other. So when we talk about models of computation being equivalent, one way that we might be talking about that is whether or not we can write the same functions. We can define the same functions with them. In this case, it turns out that using only NANDs, we can do all of the same things we could have done with all of and, or, and not. How would we actually go about showing that? Yes. So we can write and, or, and not using only NANDs. So if we can take each of and and kind of redefine that in terms of NANDs, and do the same with ors, and then do the same with not, then that demonstrates to us that anything we could have done with and or not straight line programs, we also could have done with these NAND straight line programs as well. So essentially what we're doing is we're writing a compiler. You can think of it in that way. We're writing a compiler that can translate an and or not program to a NAND program. And then we also are going to want the other way as well. We also are going to want to have a compiler that can convert our NAND program to the AND or NOT program. Kind of like in order to show that two sets were the same size, you wanted to find a bijection in between them. So some sort of function that's going to map both ways. We want to find a conversion that's going to map both ways between these two. If we can convert any NAND program to an AND or NOT program, that doesn't guarantee us that there wasn't some AND or NOT program that was out there that I couldn't have written with NANDs. So in order to prove that they are exactly equivalent to one another, we need to show kind of this, this two-directional translation. And this is going to be a consistent theme that you're going to see with all of these models of computation. You're going to see a lot of things where we look at a couple of different models of computation, and we want to prove which one is more powerful than the other, or if they're equivalent. And the way that we can do that is with this idea of compilation or simulation or something like that. Can we transform any algorithm or any process expressed using one model as a process using the other model instead? Question. Because AND and NOT are used in the definition of AND, well, AND and NOT don't have to be used in the definition of NAND. I could instead just directly define NAND in the same way that I did AND or and NOT here. I could have just said, well, NAND is going to be a function that maps two input bits to one output bit that was zero if A was equal to B was equal to one and one otherwise. Yes. So there's a difference between it being automatic and us having done it already. Okay. So essentially, we've already done one half of that translation. We've already said that we can take NAND and rewrite it using just ands, ors, and nots because we did it right here. But that doesn't mean that it was automatic. Do you see the distinction? Okay. As we said, we've already done one direction. So now in order to finally show that these are two equivalent models of computation, we need to show the other direction as well. So we need to show that I can take any and or not program and rewrite it using exclusively NANDs. 
if I can do that, then that means that I could have taken any program I wrote as an and or not program and rewritten it as a NAND straight line program that computes exactly the same function. If I have two models of computation, and I want to show that they are in this sense equivalent, that they can compute the same functions. I need to do two things. I need to show that any process or algorithm that I can implement with model one can be converted to model two, and I need to show that anything implemented with model two can also be converted back to model one. One of these directions has already been done for us. We can convert NANDs to ANDs, ORs, and NOTs. We saw this already. So this one is done. This one is the one that remains to be done. How can we express and or not straight line programs into NANDs? And when we talked about the definition of what an and or not program looked like, we basically had three components. We could have ANDs, we could have ORs, or we could have NOT. Those are the only three things that we really could have seen in this and or not straight line program. So I could show how to convert the and or not to a NAND by just taking each one of these totally separately from one another and showing how to re-express that using exclusively NANDs. Let's start with not. How can we rewrite not as NANDs? The way this is going to work is we're going to say that whenever I saw something of the form x is equal to not a in my program, I want to rewrite that as one or more NANDs in that program. So what I could do is I could translate that. So I'm going to do this translation. Every place in my AON straight line program that I saw not, I'm going to do this translation where I instead say x will be equal to NAND AA. Because with NAND, what we're doing is we're saying it is the opposite of A and A. So whenever A is 1, that means A and A is 1. The opposite of that is 0. So that is not A. Whenever A was 0, then A and A is 0, so the opposite of that is 1. So by doing NAND on A with itself, we have done what is equivalent to NOT. Okay, let's do AND next. We've already shown how to translate NOT, yes? Okay, so maybe what we could do is, is we could first compute a NAND and then compute a NOT of the result. So what we're going to do then is this is going to become Y is going to be equal to the NAND of A with B. And then we can make it so that X is the NAND. We wanted to do the NOT of the result of A NAND B. That's going to become the NAND of Y with Y. That's how we did not using exclusively NANDs. I'll leave it to you to convince yourselves that that works for OR, but we can do this for OR as well. So we have shown NAND straight line programs and and or not straight line programs are in some sense equivalent because anything we could write with one, we can write with the other. In what way might they not be equivalent? Can anybody think of any ways that they might not be equivalent? Yeah, so they are equivalent in the sense that anything one can do, the other can do as well. So they have the same things are possible. So in, in that sense, they are equivalent because the same things are possible. However, they're not necessarily equivalent because it could be that one is slower than the other. So when we did this translation, it might end up being that we now had more steps in, let's say, the NAND program than we had with the AND or NOT program. So maybe that's going to be a slower program than what we had before. There is going to be this distinction between what's possible and maybe what's easy or what's efficient. In some cases, we're going to see that there are relationships between what's going to be efficient among our different models of computation. So we might find that even as we're showing relationships between different models of computation, we might find that even if they're equivalent in the sense that all the same things are possible, it could be that one of them is just always going to be faster, or one of them is always going to be at least as efficient, or we might have more complicated ways that they're going to relate to one another. We're going to talk about some of those ideas as well.